All right, so the polls came out. You guys are 18. What do you think about that? It's better than 25, but, you know, the thing I'm most proud of is five teams in our conference, you know, in the top 20. So that's, that's pretty neat. What have you, did you tell the guys after the game, and have you whipped them into shape here uh, after their 15-point win? Is that sarcastic? Or? A little bit. I mean, I'm, I'm honest with them all the time. We didn't, we didn't play our best. Um, and I, I don't think they needed me to tell them, but I'm going to remind them. You know, and if we play like that against Louisville, you know, no matter what building we're playing in or how supportive our fans are. And, but that's, that's just the nature of coaching. If you uh, tell them when they do things well and you tell them when we need to do things better, and I, I think they understand that. Sean and Nick, can you talk about how what they've done bridging the gap from you know last year to this year? And I mean, they've really seemed to do the right things. Well, I think all the guys from last year have, you know, helped us. You know, it wasn't easy for them. You know, we didn't have a lot of depth. We lost Jalen. Um, but they've all come in and, you know, made contributions. And Nick and Sean's leadership's been something that we, you know, we really needed. And I think, uh, you know, from a coaching perspective, when you have veteran guys that buy into what you're trying to do, it makes it much easier for the young kids to listen. And that's not always easy for the young kids to listen. I mean, it's their finals home game. That's why I mentioned them, because they're seniors. So. Yeah, I, uh, I remember last year, you know, we had, I think we had a manager in Cotton. Um, and aside from families, there was nobody there. I think based on what, what Nick and Sean have meant to our program, especially when you consider they didn't come here to play for us, uh, it should be a pretty emotional thing. And hopefully it's something that is special from now on. You know, I, I know at other places I've been, senior night really meant something. And uh, when you have a great program, you know, that's what happens, and hopefully we can have that. Is this the kind of game you envisioned? I mean, I know you didn't put a time frame on it, but is this the kind of game you envisioned SMU having? Well, I mean, when we... Regularly. When we came into the... You know, when I got the job at SMU, we thought we were going to be in the Big East. And, you know, you thought about Georgetown and Louisville and Syracuse and Villanova and Notre Dame, all those teams coming in here. And that was pretty exciting. Um, I think we'll, we've gotten real lucky that, you know, Louisville and Connecticut, Memphis, Cincinnati, Connecticut, yeah, I mean, you know, we have quality teams coming in here, but uh, I didn't know in our first year we'd have such a meaningful game. I, I look at the standings, you know, like I said, five teams are in the top 20 in our conference. And now we're going down to the wire. We're playing two of those teams the last two games. So it's, it's pretty exciting. Sean was saying that your team is totally different now compared to the first time you played Louisville. When you look at your team, what are the biggest differences or the biggest improvements between the first Louisville game and t the team getting ready to go in tomorrow night or the day after tomorrow? Well, I would have said that after the Connecticut game. I'm not, I'm not willing to say that now after Central Florida. And I, again, I feel... I don't want to take anything away from them, but uh, I think when when you're a, a good program and you do a good job as, as players and coaches, you're hopefully hopefully better at the end of the season than you were at the beginning. Um, you know, I think I think we take better shots and we execute a lot better. And, you know, but generally we play harder. You know, and um, when, we, when you uh, think back, our first two uh, road games were in Cincinnati and Louisville in a new conference. Um, they were 
pretty challenging test. And I, I thought for the most part we gave ourselves a chance to win, but I didn't think in our hearts we believed we were going to win. So um, maybe after the Connecticut game, uh, they feel like if we do the right things, we can win. That might be the biggest change. Time for one more. Wednesday's a big game for this program, and with Louisville coming in town, last Moody game. You called out the fans kind of tongue-in-cheek this weekend, but how important is that student section going to be for your team? Well, I, I think they – I don't think people understood quite what I was talking about, but, uh, you know, when you're at a great program, I'm, I've been arguing for us when – season ticket holders don't show up that they allow the students to come and I've had so many kids come up to me saying they wanted to come to our game and couldn't get a ticket so I've been fighting for them and then when I looked in the stands there weren't all those students that promised me they were going to come to our game so that kind of bugged me a little bit but we don't we don't beat Connecticut we don't beat Memphis we don't beat Cincinnati without the support we've had and we're going to need every bit of that, you know, playing against Louisville. Our, our arena needs to be loud and enthusiastic because our kids feed off that. I don't think it will affect Louisville. Um, I don't think it affects great teams, but I know it will affect our team in a positive way. So, And then with senior night, um, you know, a lot of people never saw Sean and Nick play. So hopefully the ones that showed up this year will recognize their contribution. That would be great.